Hey you guys, welcome back to Nini's Eats. I'm your girl Nini, and you guys, happy Taco Tuesday everybody. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, I am so ready for my lunch today. Actually, this is my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner, but that's why there's so many. <laughs> I'm, I'm so ready for these tacos, y'all. Yeah. I am craving them. I have not had tacos in a while. I don't think I've had tacos yet on this channel. I've had tacos tons of times on the other channel. Some of y'all already know that. So I had to come to y'all with my Nini's tacos. Okay, so let me tell you what they are. These are the Oda Paso taco, uh, nacho cheese taco shells. I have ground beef. I have um, crema, you know, the table sour cream. Uh, romaine lettuce, Tillamook, uh, four cheese, cheddar, you know, shredded cheese, excuse me, pico de gallo. And then even though I have the pico de gallo, I even chopped up um, extra um, jalapenos and extra red onions because those are, yeah. And then I just threw on some green onions on top just to, just to, I don't know why. <laughs> so, and to drink, I have Tropicana watermelon juice, and then I also have some carbo sauce, y'all. Y'all, I am so ready for this. So, let me say my grace. Father God, I'd like to thank you and praise you for this meal. I sanctify you through your word and prayer, and I cast out anything harmful to me, Father. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know what time it is? You ready? You know you are. A lot of you come in here just for this part. I noticed that. <laughs> Your girl being at analytics. Anyways, you ready? Check this out. this way every time but I mean I get excited about food what can I say what can I say especially when I know that I cooked it and I cooked it the way that I like it to taste girl 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 so here we go with the carbo oh yeah mm. mouth watering already Ooh. Who put me on? Who was it? Uh, there was a challenge. Whose challenge was it? Xena Grubbs, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, the, there was a challenge where we put two times uh, on our tacos and ever since, can't stop, won't stop. And I actually have two time and one time, but my carbo's almost gone so I figured I'd use carbo and then that way I'm not burning myself up. You know, it's just a nice, comfortable, yummy, tasty, spiciness so you guys want to see that up close mm, 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 I'm so, <laughs> so ready for this that's what I want that's exactly what I want mm. If you guys hear any background noise, the boys are up. I figured they might as well wait for me for nap time. Because I know after I'm done smashing these, it's going to be nap time. <laughs> well, actually, technically, it's it'll just be quiet time for me because I need to edit this video and get it out to you guys. 
same thing. Ooh, spicy. <coughs> Y'all, Sam Yang don't be playing. Woo. out the freezer I almost forgot about it because I was also drinking um you know Starbucks to give me the energy to keep up with this family and be able to cook and do this video your girls on Starbucks this morning I've already dropped off some orders Mm -mm. It's perfect because I put the shells. I put the shells in the oven, cook them, and then let them cool down. So it's like they're cooked, but they're still they got back hard. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Oh, that pasta. When they made these, when they started making these uh, shells for us. Because usually, crunchy hard shell tacos, I would, um, you know, buy the tortilla shells, the corn tortilla shells, and fry them myself. And a lot of people, like my best friend and stuff like that, they would love my tacos because I would take the time to actually make them crunchy, you know. But shoot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's like, why? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's good. What are you guys eating today? Did you guys have anything? Anything? You know, Latino, Mexican tacos, burritos. I almost did. The challenge by Extina Ribs and um, Big Guy Appetite. And I will do that challenge, y'all. It's just, this is what I wanted. You know? And when you want what you want, you gotta get what you want. <laughs> mm. And I wanted to enjoy it and taste it. And that eight tacos in 10 minutes is gonna fly by. And I'm going to be like, did I eat? Mm. This is so fire. There's more toppings on here than meat. Look at all that. You guys saw it in the close up. Like, man. And I want to start on this side. You see this side? My mouth is burning already. The jalapenos aren't helping. So good. So what have you guys been up to? I really don't. Let's see. shipped out orders today um i bought jojo for those of you that don't know jojo is my two-year-old son i bought him some dinosaurs a dinosaur set he comes with the mat and like a whole bunch of dinosaurs and then plus of course he already has dinosaurs this boy is a dinosaur aholic you guys all he talks about is rex all day long we have to like, Jojo, watch something else. Like, <laughs> watch something else, boy. Like right now, he's playing with the new toys I got him and watching the Jurassic Park on Netflix. Mm. 
So I got that in the mail for him today. Um, nothing really. Sent the hubby off to work with a good old um, barbecue baked chicken breast, some mashed potatoes and some macaroni and cheese. He didn't want no vegetables. My teenage daughter is at work. Just a good old Tuesday, you know? A good old Tuesday. Man. <laughs> Can you guys tell? I almost left the shells in just a little bit too long. But it's good. Maybe just like a minute too long. And this meat is bomb. I did it the same way I do every time. You know, while I'm browning it, I season it. But, you know, then you strain out the fat. Even though for some reason there's still fat. But anyways, there's always going to be fat, right? Um, strain out the fat and then season it again with taco seasoning. Then when it's ready, you know how usually uh, it tells you to use tomato sauce? I don't use tomato sauce. I use ketchup. Girl, yes, ketchup. I'm sure there's a few of you out there that know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, try it. Ketchup instead of tomato sauce. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mmm. -hmm. You know who really got me wanting the taco though? And it was perfect timing. Because their video came out yesterday. And it was tacos. And a very healthier uh, version. They have Beyond Meat. Well, let me. It was J.O. Mafia. And Beyond Meat, some black beans. Oh, shoot. And toppings. And y'all, when I tell you that looks so good. And then, you know, when you watch videos, it makes you hungry. And I said, that is tomorrow's Tuesday. That's what I'm eating tomorrow. And I believe they had it in these shelves. Was it these shelves? I believe so. And I said, I was going to wear their shirt to let them know that it was their fault that I'm eating this. <laughs> mm, I should put that in the title. J.O. Mafia made me eat this. Even though they ate a, a healthier version. <laughs> mm, mm. Look at that. Delicious. Mm. Mm. This is it, y'all. Yeah. The meat is seasoned to perfection. The ketchup, I don't know why. So, my auntie Yo-Yo, um, she used to make tacos for us as children. Loved her tacos. Oh. But, she put her ketchup, she would put ketchup over the top for us as if it was salsa or something, right? Y'all, it was so fire. And then, you know, okay, so my husband and I got together our uh, 12th grade year, right? We had our oldest son the following year in 2001. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a 19 year old learning how to cook. Because daddy and mommy was taking care of everything. Learning how to cook. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, 
excuse me, I made tacos. They were okay. You know, at 19 years old, you learning they were okay. But over the years, one day it just dawned on me to put the ketchup in the meat. Ding, you know, like that. As I started getting better. And then I also started working at um, a retirement home as a, I started off as a dishwasher, but then um, one of the cooks needed um, to go as an emergency. And I had to cover for her, which was scary. <laughs> but luckily my best, well, one of my good friends, D'Amika, was the AM cook. So she stayed with me and just showed me the ropes and stuff, you know. And then, you know, cooking started becoming like a thing now, you know, cause now then I became the on-call PM cook, AM or PM cook. And then eventually I became the PM cook. Like, on the schedule three days a week on, you know. The cooking just got, you know, better and better and better and better. I've, I was cooking for 15 years. So, you know, at home too, the food started getting better. And then, like I said, just one day, it just dawned on me to put the ketchup inside the meat. And I haven't gone back, y'all. It's, my family loves my taco. Mm, mm. Mm. That first bite of the Sam Yang catches you off guard. But after you've had a couple of bites, <laughs> It just blends in with everything else. I mean, it's spicy, but it blends in with everything else. And it's fire. And I'm gonna mess these two up. So serious. <sighs> Watermelon juice is good. Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day, you guys got any plans? Look, one popped off already. I just got it done and one popped off already. JoJo! Hold on, y'all. <coughs> Sorry, y'all, that hashtag mom life kicked in real quick. This boy, okay, so our neighbor has a dog that he just lets roam back and forth, you know? And I get it, you don't wanna keep the dog trapped in the house all day. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. And JoJo's in love with this dog. And even though I lock my bedroom window, JoJo knows how to open it. So that was my natural reaction because I heard my window open. So, sorry about that, hashtag mom money. Y'all know that motherly instinct kicks in real quick. <laughs> oh, big head boy. <laughs> And then look, and then when I paused and I told y'all, hold on y'all, and I pressed pause, you hear the window close real quick and you hear his little body plop back down on the bed. <laughs> oh, big head, so. Mm, mm, mm. About the fire on this. Excuse my messy hands. It's a messy meal. He knew. He wasn't supposed to be doing that. He said, oh shoot, mama coming. <laughs> oh, there's so much going on here. All these toppings and then the crema. I can taste the crema. It's you guys. And I'll be a witness to this too. If you guys only get, what is it, Daisy? You're missing out. Now don't get me wrong. 
Daisy and the Squeeze too is it. It's that much easier. But if you guys get the Latino Mexican Crema, the table cream, I don't know what they do to it. Like, I don't know. Like, there's a... I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. I want to say they season it, but there's no seasoning in it. But I don't know. If they use butter or... I don't know. It's a whole nother world of um, sour cream. So you guys know where to find it, right? In the grocery, in the freezer, cold refrigerator area. I guess you, you know where they have the Latino cream and then they have the Latino cheeses and the, where you could get the block cheese or the crumble cheese, you know, that area. Some, re uh, some restaurants, some grocery stores, it's um, in the same area as the Daisy sour cream. And some places it's in its own area. And this Tillamook cheese, for one, they shred it thick. So you could taste the cheese. And then two, their uh, grade of cheese is just so much tastier. Mm. So, what are you guys watching on Netflix? Hmm? I really want to know. Because I am watching the same thing over and over again. So, for those of you who know, I was watching Vampire Diaries. Love that show. I love the cast. I love the cast. They really made you fall in love with everybody. And then I moved to the originals, because which is a spinoff. The spinoff is cool, don't get me wrong. I love everybody in the show, especially Rebecca and Klaus and Elijah. But it's not Vampire Diaries. It's not Damien and Stefan and Enzo and you know what I'm saying? So now I'm back watching that show again. And I really need to find something else. I tried Bridgetown. My sister was trying to put me on it. I only watched like two episodes of it and I don't know. I don't know. She keeps telling me to watch more. She's like, watch more, watch more. Then you'll, you know, you'll get into the characters and stuff like that. And then you'll be hooked. But for some reason, I think it's the decade that that show is um, portraying that I'm not into. You know what I'm saying? Last one, number five. I can't believe I'm eating five. But y'all don't understand. It's that good. And this is it for the day. This is breakfast, this is lunch, and it's dinner. So I'm gonna get my 1200 calories. I hope this is 1200 calories. I should have calculated it. Cause it might say four is 1200 calories. Anyways, I'm allowed 1200 calories a day. And I'm pretty sure these five tacos did it. That's the best uh, 1,200 calories <laughs> ever. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And see, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about um, intermittent fasting and counting my calories at 1,200 a day. Now I could spread out the 1200 with them um, like four hours, maybe. I could do that, but 
then you eat, I don't know, I feel like then I end up eating more. It's just easier for me to sit down with y'all and eat my 1200 calories and call it a day. And it's really, actually technically, it would be considered OMAD one meal a day. That way, when I'm done here, I just know, no to everything else. The dog keeps running back and forth. I got a lot of toppings here in my plate. <laughs> a lot. Ooh, I'm just blocking y'all like you don't. <laughs> A lot of toppings that fell off. I almost tried the butter pickle thing. Have you guys personally tried that yourself? I see B Love do it, and I've seen other people try it. And everyone says it's good, but. Excuse me. I don't particularly, particularly really like bread butter pickles. Only dill or hot. And even some hot pickles I don't like. For some reason, I only really, really, really like hot mama pickles. So, have you guys ever tried it and did you guys like it? If I get enough of you to say, yeah, you liked it, then I'll try it. Maybe on one. One bite. <laughs> mm. It's always the last bites that are the best. Man. It is crazy. I be can't eat in 20 tacos. I can't eat 20 uh, tacos. Duh, I can't eat 20 tacos. I can't eat 20 chicken wings and stuff like that. But your girl could put down some tacos. Honestly, I think my taco videos are like the main ones that I actually finish the food. I will eat some taco. I love them. And for those of you who are new here, you're gonna find that out real quick. So, now that I get these tacos on Tuesday, I don't know when I'm going to get that challenge video to you guys. I will get it. I'm thinking maybe next Tuesday. Because I have some seafood in there that I need to um, eat. So more than likely, you guys would that, get that video on Friday. Either Friday or Saturday. Mm. This last wife going to be so good. Always the last bite is always the best bite. <laughs> and the kids are still up. I'm about to clean up this little mess, girl. dry edit this video real quick throw some music at the bottom mm -hmm. and get this out to y'all real quick this is good so thank you guys for coming in I appreciate each and every one of you guys for coming in yep it's time for me to go oh I gotta sneeze says Sam Yang's up my nose. Okay. Shoot, here it comes. <laughs> uh, so again, thank you guys so very much for coming in. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Please do me a favor and share this video out for me. The more we share the videos out for me, the faster I can get to a thousand subscribers. And then also get to 4,000 
watch time hours. I really can't believe I got to do this all over again. But it is what it is. And um, if you help me, that would be so much. That would so much. That would be so awesome. It's this sneeze that's distracting me. I can't say what I want to say. Mm. Okay, y'all. So have a good night. I, I will see you later on this week. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already follow me on Instagram. If when I'm not here on YouTube, that's where I'm at on Instagram. All up in the Insta story. All up in the comments sections. All Instagram. All right. See you guys later.